Hello everyone and welcome to a very highly requested slash anticipated slash y'all just really want to see me test out this primer review. I have got the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Primer plus moisturizer all in one. Hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. This has got great reviews online. People really seem to love this and just Smashbox primers in general. So I'm curious to test this out. Smashbox did send this to me as PR just so you all know, but Smashbox knows that I only give out 100% honest reviews and they are A-OK -okay and wanting of that. So thank you to Smashbox for sending this my way. I'm excited to test this out here on my channel and to show you all how it works on my very oily skin. So just to, you know, see what it's supposed to do, let's hop on over to Smashbox's website really quick, read about it, and then we can go ahead and test it out on my face. So here we go. Like I said, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It is going to set you back $42 for one fluid ounce, so it is pretty pricey. But like I said, it's got fantastic reviews. It is a primer and moisturizer all in one, and all of that is delivered in the lightest possible texture. It's going to increase moisture in the skin by 127% and also prep the skin for makeup in one step. It's not greasy, it's a quick dry formula, and it's going to be a makeup magnet that locks on foundation and makes it last. And there you can see some percentages and stuff that they claim. Oh, wow, okay, so there's a fun fact for you. And to use, you apply one to two pumps to fingertips and smooth over the face before makeup. It can be used with or in the place of moisturizer. It's also cruelty free. So yeah, I am excited to test this out, like I said, so let's go ahead, sing the song together, and then we can go ahead and do just that. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. I did already wash and moisturize my face earlier today, I would say maybe a couple hours ago when I got out of the shower, but I mean, it did say that you can use this with your moisturizer, so I don't think going to be a problem, but I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. It is a bit liquidy in there, and it sounds like there might be something in there to shake it up. But either way, it's got a beautiful pump on the bottle, and it is. It's a really pretty glass bottle and everything. It's also got a shelf life of 24 months, which is awesome. But what I'm going to do for this review here, I do wear my glasses so that the fellow glasses wearers of the world out there, we can see how this does, see if it makes our glasses a slip slidey mess or whatever the case may be. I'm going to use this on half of my face, and then I'm going to use my normal primer on the other half of my face, just so that we can, you know, use that as a control and everything so I'm just gonna do that <laughs> so this is one pump hmm, smells slightly tropical I don't know how to explain it it's not like quite a coconut scent I don't know but now it doesn't really smell like anything so I think I waited too long to tell you guys so a very faint faint scent but it does feel nice going on. It doesn't feel hyper moisturizing, but it feels it's got that tack to it that I really like. So now using my other hand that doesn't have the primerizer on it, I'm gonna go ahead and do some of my Guerlain primer here. So, I mean, it would be great if this ends up being just as good, if not better. I mean, it's an expensive primer still, the Smashbox, but it's, about half the price of this Guerlain one that I love. So, go ahead and rub this in. So I can already say the Smashbox one feels a bit like a sit on top of the skinny. It's not skinny, but skin-ish, I guess we'll call it. But it feels stuck to the skin. You know what I mean? Like there's some products that sit on top of the skin and it feels like it's just gonna slide right off. This doesn't feel like it went like into the skin like my Guerlain one feels like, but it feels like it's on there. So hopefully that's how it stays. Now for foundation, I'm gonna be using this number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation, which I've been retesting out this month. And I have quite enjoyed this since rediscovering it. We should I'll see how the foundation applies on top of these primers. And there we go, there it is on both sides of my face. 
I think it looks good. I think it applied just as well on both sides of my face. It feels good on both sides of my face. It really feels identical. I would say. <laughs> this might be a good sign, you guys. I think my pores look good on both sides. I think the foundation looks really smooth and even on both sides. I just think overall it looks really, really nice. And there we go. There's not too much more I can say here. I'm gonna just go about my day. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup, get some other filming done. If I have time, I'm gonna run some errands. If not, I'm just heading over to my mom's, have our trashy TV night together. And that's about it. Hopefully get some work done eventually or some other work other than filming aka editing. I mean it's just going to be a normal day but we are going to be able to see how these primers end up doing. Primarily we're going to see how this one ends up doing and I'm excited to take you guys along with me as always. It is currently 12:32 in the afternoon. I will just be checking in with you all periodically throughout the day so we can see how everything is doing and then I will just be seeing you all for my final check-in at the very end of the night. So I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye! <laughs> It is currently 12.56 in the morning. I feel like vloggy footage was definitely lacking today, but that's because I don't feel like I did very much today. I mean, I did. I got everything done that I needed to get done. It's just, it's not always very vlog worthy. But that being said, you guys, I think we have a pretty close dupe slash, I mean, I feel like it's a winner. So here we go close up. There are some very minor discrepancies from side to side, and I do think that the Guerlain side performed better, but maybe only by like 5% at most. The main areas where I can see a big difference are around my mouth. I feel like it looks a little bit cakier on the Smashbox side, just the tiniest little bit and then also underneath the glasses you can see not only on my glasses but also on my cheek the slightest bit of transfer onto my glasses of the foundation on the Smashbox side but barely anything at all on the Guerlain side but that being said my skin feels exactly the same on both sides. I think my oil level looks the same on both sides and overall can I really tell a different no <laughs> like, if you asked me, like, do you think I'm wearing, I mean, obviously I know the answer, but if I asked a total stranger, am I wearing different things on each side of my face? I don't think, I mean, maybe since I prompted them with that question, they'd be like, yes, of course, but you know, I don't think anyone would realistically be able to tell the difference. So yay! I mean, this is still an expensive primer, but it's still like half the price of the Guerlain primer. So if you, I mean, even if you do wear glasses, I mean, this is very minor compared to what some other primers do. So I'm just super excited to keep on testing this out. It's, I'm really happy. I mean, I just started a new bottle of my Guerlain, so like I'll still have that to go through. My mom also passed like half a used bottle on to me, so I, I, I've got a lot of primer. <laughs> but this is great! I mean, I'm really excited, especially in the winter since this one is, I'm assuming, more hydrating and everything. So I think it'll be good for me to use. It has felt very lightweight all day. It didn't make my foundation slip and slide too much. Just that little bit underneath the glasses. So I think that pretty much tells you how I feel, but to put this into a numerical perspective for you guys, I have got my pause rating system here. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price, and S is for shade range. So for performance, like said, 
really really good except for the minor things that I mentioned so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 4.75 out of 5. For application it went on really easy, foundation was just as easy to apply over it as my other primer, everything about application was a-okay and good for me so I'll give it a 5 out of 5. For worth the price, yes it is spendy but I really do think that the right primer for your skin makes such a big difference, especially if it does have like benefits and stuff to it. You know, like this one, it's a moisturizer and it's just supposed to be like healthy for your skin and everything. So to me, I feel like primer is one of the things that I don't mind spending more money on. So to me, is this worth the price? Yeah. Yeah. Like pretty much fully. I'm I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5 on worth the price. And then for shade range, I mean it's universal since it goes on clear and everything, so another 5 out of 5. I mean we could just clear this off, but 5 out of 5 because why the heck not. So overall this is getting a 19.75 out of 20 or a 4.937 5 out of 5 pause. That might be one of the highest pause ratings I've ever given a product, but I really am. I'm very impressed, especially seeing it side by side with my favorite girl lawn primer. So yay! Thank you Smashbox for sending this to me once again. Like I said earlier, that does not influence my review. You guys can see how it performed and everything. I do have a deluxe sample of this to give away to you guys that I did say I was going to give away here in this video, but I'm actually going to save it for a different giveaway. I'm getting ready to do a new series, I guess, here called Primer Palooza. It'll be similar to something that Taylor from that Tayla does with 15 Days of Foundation foundation except I'm gonna do it with primers and it's not gonna be 15 days but it's gonna be a whole week so you'll get seven primer videos in a row and then a roundup and thoughts and views on everything etc so I'm really excited to start doing that and then there will be a giveaway at the very end of that since I've got a couple of primers to throw in there so just so you all know that that's what happened there and everything but yeah overall I just hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing how this primerizer did on my very oily skin. If you did enjoy this video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!